ladies and gentlemen, of course, all the configurations of being, and welcome back to another episode of The Cooperators, back playing some more The Quiet Man. Where we last left off, I am terrible at improv. I can't hear a thing. No, I really am terrible at improv, and I do apologize, because I'm pretty sure I'm fucking dancing as shit. Alright, so that's, that's the dude that we were um, talking to and everything before. Management called... I don't even know. Focus. Oh, that. He's taking me to focus. Heads up. That's that's okay. That's freaky. I think it's a bone uh, a bone doll. It's carved out of bone. Your bones. It's carved out of your bones. He told me to do something, but I I just I, I just wasn't listening to him at all whatsoever. Bones, the bone doll. I'm pretty sure it's a bone doll. I, I, granted, I could be sorely mistaken that that's that's not at all what it is. I get my phone. I can't hear on my phone. Well, that's what text messaging is for, and pictures, of course. I need visual aid. Yeah, but my freaking bike is all over the place. I apologize, guys. Now this game's all about sound, and I'm just doing a lot of like I'm doing a lot of ASMR. A, what, what's the God damn, what's that? A, uh, ASMR. I'm doing a lot of ASMR. Get you hear me like right in your ear. I'm in your ear, buddies, buddies, buddies. Now, if only I can hear my internal thoughts. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. He probably could be um. He probably could be, uh, I'm sorry, what's the word? He could have been born deaf, so he doesn't know how things sound, or doesn't know how his voice would sound, or even know that, that talking is an actual, like, talking is an actual thing, or, like, how it would actually sound, like, how words would sound like, so he like, wouldn't know, the, know, he doesn't know the word, the, like, so what is that? I don't know what that is, like, you know, he doesn't even know the word that I'm even speaking. I mean, I remember uh, people were saying that deaf people that were born deaf and that were um, they were born deaf, and that they uh, gained their hearing back at a uh, later age. They actually um, all like a lot of people thought like the sun was um, which we'll call it. Can I throw them in the? Uh... Hey, yo, what's up? How you doing? Is that the dude from the alleyway? Get in the goddamn fucking train tracks! Get in the train tracks! Get in there! Get in there! Get in there, motherfucker! Yeah, I don't think you can. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's like a, it's important story base. Ninja! And the train somehow was there. Um, so deaf people actually said that they all thought, uh, the sun made a noise. So all I'm thinking about is, like, from Rick and Morty when the sun is like, Hey, look, the sun's coming up, and as the sun's coming up, it's going, ah! So people are thinking, okay, so that's, um, that's not a thing? Okay, cool. Yeah, so it seems like the, he was born deaf. I, 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 I mean, think of it like this. If he wasn't born deaf, or he had his hearing now, at, at this stage of life, we would be able to hear this, wouldn't we? Like, like hearing, like when that goes, it doesn't go with your memories. It's like, I don't remember how that, how that heard because I never, I never heard it before. It's like, no, you did heard it before. You just, um, you can't hear anything anymore. Oh, I don't even know. Stray bullet. Let's. Our difference. I, I, dang it, I want some food. Oh, I can't break the uh, vending machines. That kick is interesting. 
it, it, it's a sidekick, right? Yeah, this, no, wait, yeah, no, it's a sidekick. Alright, so these are probably heavy moves. Heavy moves, yeah, that's a sidekick. This dude, um... Something broke. See, I heard a crash. Oh, shit, the train's here. I didn't hear it. Yeah, those trains are loud. And if, if, if anyone lives or has been in New York and ride the subway, yeah, you know those trains are coming in. Well, actually, you won't even know because you won't know if it's your train or someone else's train. Oh, shit, I didn't even hear you come up the stairs. Yeah, and that's actually how it is in New York. Some person will just go up the stairs, beat the shit out of random people, and then some random person that's walking by, like, oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness, what's me? I swear to God, for one second, I thought it was um, that dude from S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, Michael Douglas? Yeah. Was it Michael Douglas? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. But it's not. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. This is unreal. Unreal engine. Why is it unreal? Because there are no people walking in the street. If this is New York or real, that would be that would street be flooded. There'd be a lot of trash in the street as well. But New York is not that clean. You may not be able to hear, but you can smell a lot of trash. Ooh, hello. Lady! Can I come up? Thinking I can hear, uh, I can hear a, a, a tone or a tune or something on 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 a on a, on a uh, guitar or, or a Picard or something like that. Go up to the window and start serenading her with music. It's like, like, oop, didn't tune it. <laughs> I can tell by her face it's the it's not tuned. I know deaf people can still play instruments. It's still actually impressive. Um, I know. Of a DJ? Oh, look, anyway, that. Hi, I'm an, I'm an Iris, so my goodness, I'm just gonna hide behind this tree like, like a cartoon character. Um, a DJ. Uh, actually, there's two types of DJs that I know of. What is death? What's not death? Now, they all do the same thing. The only difference is one has to wear head, like, soundproof protecting headphones, while the other one. He doesn't need headphones because he doesn't need protection. I have no idea what I'm doing. If only somebody would tell me, but I can actually hear. So, I'm trying to match up a picture for something that's kind of cool. Oh, there's another phone trinket. It's a dead bird. Haven't you ever heard of bird flu? Ooh, the connection. Dun dun dun. A limo. Dun dun dun. A person with roses. And he's an unreal format. With the dude with the ponytail. With his hepatitis C handkerchief. Anyway, um, I lost my train of thought. I know I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna keep ranting because this game is like so fucking quiet. And he's so like, so trying to get so invested into the story, and yet it's just. Did they, like, spend so much money on... Oh, excuse me. Did they spend so much money, like, on Unreal Engine, on lip format, where they have to, like, map out the lips so perfectly that, you are, that you're able to read the lips? I don't know. So, anyway, the DJs that I know of, and, uh, whatchamacallit, one wears headphones, one doesn't. Obviously, the one who doesn't, you know, he's deaf. So what they do is they go, they, they, um, damn, I forgot what, it, I forgot what, what, how to say this. All right, it's called a saga. 
songs for the deaf. That's what it is. And the DJ, what they do is they blast the music so fucking loud, the bass of the music vibrates the whole place. You feel the music, you feel the sounds. And people that are not deaf, they go in there. They just you like you just be careful because you know you have to you have to wear something because you're gonna go, you're gonna go. It's either if you are deaf, you're gonna come out deaf. That's what it really is. So when that shit happens, um, they actually do a lot of cool stuff. They have a bass a, a, a bass speaker. And they fill it up with, with like balls and everything, and they lay it on the floor. Some people they like to dive in there like a ball pit. And they feel the music, like, and they know the beat and everything. They can feel that beat. I thought that's actually pretty cool. It's called so yes, it's called a sada. So people that are DJs that are not deaf, obviously they wear the headphones and they can actually perform that shit. People that are deaf, they just like fucking. I can still do this shit. Yo. Why would you give me a fucking bird, dead bird? I'm fucking gonna have snot, swine flu. Fucking smell it. Damn it. Why would you give me a goddamn swine flu? Get your ass out of here. Move, fucker. Get yourself a haircut. Look like one of them. Here, take some swine flu. Like I said, my improv is. is but, uh, sorry, baby. I don't have an STD, but I got swine flu. I'm gonna wait more of my hepatitis on you. Enjoy that. What, what the what the fuck, fuck, fuck? Why are you giving me more hepatitis? I already got it the first time. I don't need. Well, that's hepatitis A. Fuck. You got now A and C. Get ready for B, motherfucker. All right, now you're gonna go in that limo. You gonna suck the. You gonna suck a death guy. You are gonna suck that death guy. The, the death guy's dick. Yeah, this went full. This went dark. <laughs> I, again, if I fucking knew what the fuck was going on, it's like, ah right, man, I know he gave you hepatitis A and C, he gave me swine flu. I don't know what he's gonna give that girl, but let's find out. To get her stain on her clothes. God damn it! It really does suck that like I I, I really want to fucking play the goddamn game with the seller. I know you gotta beat the game first. It's stupid. Oh wait, this is live? Yeah, it's live action. I'm real. What? I'm trifle a little deaf in this here. Can you speak up a little bit louder? It seems that there's like a lot of rainbow and rivers and just like a ringy, ringy, ringy in the, in the sound. But you know, <laughs> I'm gonna assume that she told a joke. Just to, you know, get with this girl. I have no idea what you're saying. I think I need to tell her a joke to make to to to, to lighten the mood. <laughs> so I'm assuming that our character does not talk at all whatsoever. Oh, he does apparently. I I, I just saw him speak, but nothing like we didn't hear it. We didn't hear like. A, mm, we don't hear ourselves either, which is weird. See, we hear everybody else, and it sounds like a ring. Like, <laughs> see, we don't hear ourselves, but we hear everybody else. That's so weird. I want to touch you. But I don't want to touch you. Like, I was gonna say Macaulay Colton. No, not Macaulay Colton. Like, I look like one of the um, I look, I look like Hanson, one of the Hansons brothers, Taylor Hanson. There you go. A bird with a sewn mouth. That's what it is. Ah, okay, so that makes more sense. So the bird with the with the mouth that was tied up and everything. <laughs> the bird with a sewn up mouth is tied up and everything. All right, so New York City. Hey, look at that chapter two. Stargate Storm Chase. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like that. Um, shit. So I really feel more tempted to just kind of skip this, which I don't think I can. I skip this? No, I don't. I can't. Alright, um, I probably can, but I don't want to. Which is kind of stupid because then it's like saying to ourselves, well, what the fuck are we doing with this goddamn game? Because we're going to play 
it again, and we're gonna see all the shit. Well, you're gonna see it, but you're also gonna hear it then. I know we could look it up online, but that's just cheating. And trust me, I cheat enough in a lot of video games. So I might as well just enjoy the goddamn game. We're gonna go to a show called Blah Blah. Yeah, it's called Blah Blah. Okay, you're gonna have this drink, and then you're gonna have that drink, and then I'm gonna have this drink. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it down right there. I'm gonna drink this orange juice. I'm gonna drink this OJ. I'm gonna drink nothing. God, I have, I, <laughs> I have lip liner on. Not lip liner on. Um, what's that shit called? Chapstick. No, so that's the girl that we're in the car with, I think. But that's someone completely different. That's the girl I was thinking about. I want to match a bit of you. Oh my god, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Play a fucking saga! It's like, I am not gonna play any song at all that a deaf person can't hear. So, enjoy this, everyone. I'm just gonna add my- I'm just gonna add my own song into it. Hang on. Once you start playing. Yeah, honestly, all I hear is just like a- That's all what it is. Here. Let, let's really add an actual song to it. Here, th this song. So anyway, <laughs> that's one of the funny things. That, the one funny thing that we can definitely do in this game is just add random sounds. So if you do hear something that doesn't sound like it's the, it's part of the game, I'm telling you this right now, it's not part of the game. I can walk away and I wouldn't give a shit. Like I like I like like I wouldn't be missing anything is what what what, what I mean. What's this? So is that his mom? This is girlfriend. Someone? Sister. Cousin. Affiliation. She's dead, you know. She's a ghost. So yeah, it's like mom and then one of them and the other the sister. I, I can read the lips, I mean, I think he's saying mom. So it's not his mom. Because so like his mom's dead. So it could be his sister. But I could be wrong. I, I don't know. So we'll just have to, you know, play the game with the sound on and actually listen for clues and details, etc., etc. But how long is this actual game? Actually, that's the one. Really, three hours? Three hours, main and extra. Yeah, so the main story is three hours. The main and extra is five and a half hours. The completion is six hours. All play styles. So this is done by a pole. 29 people, all of 11 people, 45 people, all of 45 people. I don't know. Very interesting. By the way, I'm not even looking at the game, so I have no idea what's going on. Oh, shit. Fire. Alarm. James Hick, that's, that's who the character is. Fine man, directed by James Hick. So, James... I just want to see what else, what else is he in. Umbrella Academy, that's it. Because I think he looks familiar. And I remember him in the, movie, the show, The Umbrella Academy. He's also in The Boys. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that was random. Actually, here, hang on one second. So I gotta pause this because we're 19 minutes into this episode. So next time on the Cooperators, we're gonna continue with some more of the Quiet Man. We'll see you next time. We're gonna reach for the stars tonight.